Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Haynes. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. This episode was brought to you by Luke Craig. You might have heard of Toby Sheldon before, who's mostly known for appearing on the television show My Strange Addiction for spending $100,000 on plastic surgery to look just like his idol Justin Bieber. According to police, he was found dead at the age of 35 in a Motel 6 in the San Fernando Valley four days after he was last seen and three days after he was reported missing by a friend. Also, according to reports, medication was found in the room and it's still unclear how he died. Police stated that Sheldon's disappearance may have been caused by his boyfriend breaking up with him. No other information is known at this time, but no matter how this goes down, it's unfortunate. We at SourceFed send our condolences to those who knew Toby. Facebook just launched M, their answer to Apple's Siri. M can make dinner reservations, find the perfect birthday gift for your spouse, suggest, and then book your next vacation. It's like a robot mommy. Hmm, this sounds a lot like Siri, which Facebook's vice president of messaging products, yes, that's a thing, David Marcus says otherwise, saying, it can perform tasks that none of the others can. And apparently that's because M is digital and organic. What, that's some feature-ass stuff I don't want in my life, Steve. Don't worry, Will. The organic part comes from actual humans who are behind M as well. The f Siri, Google Now, and Cortana all rely entirely on technology and is limited to that. M is a hybrid. It uses robot slaves and human slaves called M trainers who work for Facebook and their primary job is to help people who access M for certain tasks that TechFront can't handle. M works through their popular messenger app. You just tap the little icon on the bottom of the messenger screen and type out what you want. It's like messaging a robot instead of the girl that you met that one time at a comedy show that's clearly online but not responding to my witty messages, my problem. Users won't know where the robot ends and the human begins, which is kind of weird and slightly off-putting, but I'd try it out, I guess. What's to lose? Your social security number? I have two, Will, so I'm good. One of them is illegal because I'm an immigrant. Hello, this is Donald Trump, we got one. Right now, M is only available to a select few and will roll out to everyone soon. And as it rolls out, it'll grow and learn. This sounds like some smart house shit. I'm afraid of that movie. Rapper and general weirdo Tyler the Creator has been in the news recently, not for eating a cockroach again, but because when he tried to enter the UK, they were like, Nah. A spokesperson for the UK Home Office stated, coming to the UK is a privilege, and we expect those who come here to respect our shared values. Wait, the UK has shared values? No wonder they're better than America. Is that why Russell Brand is in America so much? Is his hair too long? I like him, let's keep him. The UK Home Office went on to say the Home Secretary has the power to exclude an individual if she considers that his or her presence in the UK is not conducive to the public good, if their exclusion is justified on public policy grounds. And Tyler the Creator is not new to controversy. He was once forced to cancel a four-date Australia tour because of pressure from a feminist group there that claims that his music promotes violence towards women. Now the UK Home Office took issue with him after analyzing some of his lyrics from the the 2009 song, Bastard. What could he have possibly said in that song? Well, I'll tell you, Will. <clears throat> this is what the devil plays before he goes to sleep. Some food for thought. This food for death. Go ahead and f***ing eat. My father's dead. Well, I don't know, we'll never f***ing meet. I cut my wrist and play piano because I'm so depressed. Okay, makes sense now. You can't go anywhere anymore. Hey, New York Post, you mad, bro? Or at least New York Post writer Kyle Smith, who wrote an intense article about YouTube stars titled, These Self-Important YouTube Idiots Are Destroying Culture. The article starts off with a photo of popular YouTubers Mamrie Hart and Tyler Oakley with the following text underneath. It. YouTube star Tyler Oakley, right, with Mamrie Hart, is hitting the mainstream despite being a talentless hack. Okay, okay, uh, let's hold on here for a second. Before you head to Twitter to tweet at this guy or the New York Post or whatever, realize that this article is clearly meant to get a rise out of people and anger them to draw more attention to the article. Well, it worked because here we are reporting it at SourceFed, giving this guy attention. Let's quote the article, shall we? Here's some juicy bits. If you've already hit 35 in age or even in IQ, you might not have heard of Tyler Oakley, but in his world, he's a superstar. What world is that? The alternate reality of extremely low quality entertainment? YouTube. Okay, and it in addition to grilling Oakley, Smith attacked Grace Helbig, saying, Helbig's inane chatter about her life, in one video she tried and failed to find the comedy gold in D batteries, earned her 2.6 million YouTube subscribers. Then went on to say, a Helbig video in which she attempts to tell viewers not to be insecure will give you some sense of the depth of her personality, which is roughly the thickness of a dragonfly wing. Okay, so what? Okay, this can't be real journalism. This is clearly just this man's opinion, and it's thickly seasoned with pointless disdain. Is Smith just trying to get a rise out of people? Let's take a look at some of his other articles from the New York Post. Let's see. Women are not capable of understanding good fellas. Addiction is not a disease and we're treating addicts incorrectly. And how Jon Stewart turned lies into comedy and brainwashed the generation. Congrats, Smith. You're on my list of people to not listen to ever. There's a lot of people on that list, including the guy that put too much mayo on my sandwich at Subway. Degenerate. Also, culture can't be destroyed because culture is never solidified. Culture is constantly changing and being reborn. It's like a phoenix and you're being a real Voldemort right now. So there it is, Kyle Smith. There's your free plug on YouTube. You're welcome for all the fans we're sending to your Twitter page. So what do you guys think about about the news today. Do you agree with the New York Post comments? What would be your one small rule to not let people into your country? Hey, and thanks to the sponsor of today's episode, Loot Crate, the premier mystery box subscription service for geeks and gamers.
gamers. Go to LootCrate.com slash SourceFed for goodies and treats like the stuff that Steve's wearing and save 10% by using the coupon code SourceFed. This month's theme is Villains 2 and next month is Summon. So sign up before you miss out. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> this is some real good coffee. It retains heat very well. We'll try it out. I'm William Haynes. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Follow me on Twitter. Want some math? Yes. <laughs>